back to the garage. My name is Barry. Today I'm going to show you how we installed this Mod Split 4 seat on a 1982 to 2000 model Club Car DS. This is how we did it. These are the tools we'll be using on this installation. The first thing we're going to do is remove the two bolts on each side that holds the support to the roof. Make sure you retain your original hardware. We will be using this again. Now that we get our nuts and bolts out of the way, we'll go ahead and support the roof with our broomstick. Now let's get these seat backs off. Now with my 7 16 wrench, I'll go ahead and remove this bolt that's holding the seat back on, on both sides. Next, we're gonna remove the sweater basket by removing the two bolts on each side and the one in the back. Now with my number three Phillips head and my 7 16 wrench, I'll remove this last bolt holding the sweater basket on. Now we'll remove the four bolts that hold each seat back on with our number three Phillips head screwdriver. Now with the cushions removed, we can remove the seat back bracket. Now with the number three Phillips head, we'll remove the two screws that hold the inspection panel on. Now we have access to the nuts underneath these bolts. Now that we've got the inspection panel out of the way, we need to move our broomstick to the brace back here in the back, remove our seat so we can get to the nuts that are tucked underneath for the seat back brace. Now with our half inch socket, we'll remove the nut on the underside of this bolt. Now we'll remove the two bolts on each side so we can take our seat back brace off. Now that we've got all the bolts out of the way, we can remove our support assembly. Now we'll remove the four bolts that hold the rear bumper to the frame using our number three Phillips head screwdriver and a half inch wrench. Now that we got everything out of the way so that we can get our seat installed, we went by and cleaned everything up. Now, the first step is gonna to be to install this rear bumper bracket that mounts down here where the bumper used to be. We'll use nuts, bolts, and washers supplied in the kit. Remember to only keep everything finger tightened till we're done. Now for installing our seat brace. We'll fit right down here. Now to install the middle bolt hole here, we use the hardware coming from the kit. Now this hole may be a little tight for the new bolts, so I did run a half inch drill bit through it just to make it a little bit easier. Before we bolt down our seat base frame, we want to make sure we put our seat back frame on. All this bolts together in the same place, all with original hardware. We'll do the same to the other side. Now we're going to install the footrest. We have brackets here that will go on each side of the oblong holes, and we'll use hardware that's supplied in the kit. Put one on each side and make sure that this flat piece is towards the outside. Okay, now we'll install our footrest using the hardware supplied in the kit and secure in place with the nut and bolt. Now we're going to put our inspection panel in, but before we do that, we went ahead and tightened down these middle bolts here. So let's go ahead and put this in and get it tightened down. Now I set our seat base on. Now I'm going to use bolts and nuts and washers supplied in the kit and we'll bolt it down. Now we'll bolt the seat base frame down to the support using bolts, nuts, and washers supplied in the kit. Our next step is to put the armrest on. Once again, nuts, bolts, and washers supplied in the kit. Okay, now we'll use our brace down here. Going from the armrest to underneath the footrest, we'll put the bolt through. Okay, we'll do the same to the other side. Now we will mount our armrest 
to the seat base to the new seat back support. Remember not to push it all the way through just yet. We've got to leave room for the nut and washer. Now we'll do the upper portion, remembering to use our spacer. And we'll do the same to the other side. Okay, now we will put our seat back brackets on. Notice that the holes will be offset. Make sure you've got the little hook portion towards the up on the seat. We'll put these in, just snug them down. Do not over tighten, these can strip. Okay, now we will put our rear seats seat back on. We'll align the holes. And we'll do the same to the other side. Okay, now we'll put our little seat back brace on. This will go in the top two holes. Once we get these mounted, we can go ahead and put the cushion back using the four Phillips head screws. Let's go ahead and tighten these two down all the way. Now that I got the sun top supports up on both sides, I've removed the broomstick to allow the top to come back down. Next, we'll take our sleeve that was OEM, put it back up inside the roof and align these two holes up on the inside. Once I've got that aligned, I'll put the original bolt back through. Then we'll come over here and put the other bolt in, tighten it down, and then we'll do the same to the other side. Now we'll put the rear seat base on, making sure that the cutout goes towards the inside of the car. We'll align it up, open it up, and using our number three Phillips head screws with a washer, insert into the holes and tighten it down. Now remember, only tighten this down with a screwdriver and just snug it down. It does not need to be super tight. Once you're done with this, go ahead and start tightening all the bolts up and that is how we install a Mod Split 4 seat on a Club Car DS 1995 model. I must say, I'm very impressed with this seat. It comes pre-drilled for a trailer hitch, your safety bar, it's even got places back here to put your seat belts. And if you get more than one or two people back here, you might want to consider some heavy duty leaf springs. We will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for all your golf cart parts and accessories, check out DIYGolfCart.com and make sure to check out our other videos.